So we had the Visionox booth, and uh, who yeah. are you? Hi, I'm Ron Mertens from OLED Info. Yeah, that's me. And uh, Visionox is a big deal for the OLED industry, right? Yeah, actually, Visionox is it's a long-time player with Passive Matrix OLEDs. You can see the displays here. So the they've, they've been doing PM OLED for a while. Yeah, that's for many years. I think maybe ten years now, something like that, maybe six. Um, so what is that? What is a Passive Matrix OLED? So passive matrix OLEDs, as opposed to the active matrix ones, they use a much simpler driving mechanism, which basically means it's much easier to produce them, and it's also a lot cheaper, but they're still really good looking displays with really good contrast. Um, so you can see the blacks are still very black and they're very efficient. But what does it mean? Is it just a white and black? That's, that's all it is? or? It could be also um, graphic with more and color. You can see here there's some yeah. maybe more colorful examples. Um, I can't move it. But, oh, they don't have a full color one. But you could do a full color passive matrix. I mean, if you want a very simple explanation, if it's below something like 200 by 200 resolution, then it get, it's going to be a passive matrix OLED. You don't need the active matrix for that. But when you have more lines and more higher resolution, then yeah, you need the active matrix. Active driving. matrix is a. Uh it's not segmented, so the passive is not segmented, no. but what is it? Okay, um, so basically when we, when we drive displays, you do it one line at a time. So <laughs> you power up one line and change the pixel, and then the next one, and then the next one. And in between, in a passive matrix display, the other lines go dark. So you do it really fast, and then you know we see the whole display, but basically it's just one line at a time. Um, but then once you go, as, as you add more and more lines, you know, you need a very a higher refresh rate to actually support this, you know, so we see it all at the same time, but that's a problem. And then you move to active matrix. In an active matrix, you have capacitors inside the display that keep the same pixel, you know, which one are lit and which are not, while you're refreshing the other lines. So you can go unlimited in resolution and the line is still... So, you know, so active yeah. is the full color everything? Yeah, active matrix is the ones we see on smartphones and TVs and tablets and you know all these better so looking. But it's that's a rugged phone, like a, you know, I think it's so. Um, uh, Visionox is the number one OLED in China, right? Um, that's a tough question. I won't say that, but it, they why is it a tough question? Because there are several good players, you know, OLED players in China. We have BOE, Visionox. Tianma, Ever Display, truly, I hope I'm not forgetting everyone. LG is building factory in China too. LG is building a factory in China, yeah. For TV. For TV, yeah. And but uh, but in terms of quantities, I think they 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 claim to be the biggest quantities of the Chinese OLEDs. This could be, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So that that but uh, um, why is a company like Visionox not able to just do TVs also? Um, I think they're focused, I mean, Visionox as a company in general, you can see around here, they're only doing small, medium displays, so that's their focus. They're not a TV company, they're small, medium displays, so up to tablets or monitors. Um, you know, so that's their focus for many years. So they started, yeah, yeah out in the university in, about 20 years ago. And um, the displays are just looking amazing, right? The yeah, I think you take so. some of the latest uh, yeah, full screen mobile. Yeah, this I is kind of like a market. Yeah, that's on the market. Um, some of these are just prototype displays, some of these are actual phone. Like this one, you can see the notch type display, that's just a panel. But they have some newbie phones and ZDE phones, and you, mostly Chinese phone makers that are now shipping. Doji. Yeah, there's a, that's like a notch type iPhone X display. And they're looking quite good, yeah. All right. The chat, yeah. So there's uh, the future, do you think every smartphone is going to be OLED? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I think that you know, they look better, they consume less power, they're thinner, you can go flexible. I think that in, you can see there, you know, the, these foldable displays and really flexible ones. I think once we, they get all the technology sorted out, yeah, there's no reason to go back to LCD.